back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And here we talk everything life, faith, style, and beauty, starting from the inside out. So I hope that you guys really enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Definitely don't leave this video if you did not rate, if you did not comment. It helped me out tremendously, y'all. Wait, so before moving on, I want to thank you guys for the outpouring of love, kindness, crazy love on my wedding photos so if you guys don't know or if you're a new subscriber i definitely just got married july 17th so it's gonna be three weeks tomorrow actually so i'm gonna do a whole dedicated video to that so stay tuned so today um it's not gonna be like a faith video so i'm thinking about starting a new series called soul flexions hear me out so they're basically like reflection videos on like certain topics and they they aren't necessarily like faith videos but they have to do with like doing that inner work and just changing certain habits but then it's like a my own reflection so so flexions i don't know let me know if you guys are feeling that name down below but i am so i might just keep it but let me know down below if you guys like it so today's topic um i was actually getting my nails done these are my nails y'all i wanted some color but basically i was getting my nails done and i thought about things that really just was in my headspace like during COVID things that I have learned um, and I was like yo the black community would come out so much stronger if we really thought about these things or if we've, we've been thinking this way um, so I wanted to share this video if you resonate with anything leave that down below and let's get into the video the first thing that we should be doing is saving if you have not learned that lesson and how crucial it is to save during this time y'all we 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 gotta stop playing with saving so at the end of the day we know like covid hit people hard like economically people are struggling people don't have money and then i think of like especially saving up for the wedding we saved a good amount of money being disciplined there is no reason why unless you're living over your means that you cannot save some type of money i think that we need to get out of the mindset that we need to have the latest drip or the latest like clothes and it's all good but make sure that you have some type of savings outside of that or maybe don't spend that lump sum if you don't have it but save up towards it but then have a different savings on the side but we should all be saving some type of money so the very next thing i think that we all should be doing is normalizing celebrations okay um i don't know about you guys but i grew up in a black home where you know if you were getting good grades in school it's like that's what you're supposed to do you know i'm not i'm not celebrating you but like the more and more i think about celebrating people like you don't know where you know somebody came from and what it took for them to get to a certain place so i'm 29 now and i just got an apartment but somebody may be getting like a house right now you know so but it's like either way even though i'm getting an apartment and they're getting a house like it can be small celebrations and i think that when we take away celebrations we kind of like you know downplay ourselves and it's harder for us to reach that certain point because we are, we're just like okay we need to get there and if i'm not there then or somebody's always doing better than me but if we would take a moment to really look at our growth individually and then celebrate each step i think that we'll be grateful and and we'll see that our big goals are more attainable so normalize celebrations i think it's it's great to just celebrate every step and like knowing all the people that we lost during this time which is so crazy to me I think we should normalize celebrating even more. Celebrating yourself, celebrating your friends, celebrating your family is very important. The next thing I want to talk about is self-care. Now, self-care is a topic that is very broad and it's different for everybody. But one thing that I learned during this time, it caused all of us to like slow down, right? So sometimes like you don't even get to like feel what you're feeling. It's just I got to show up in the world. I got to be strong, work harder. Nobody cares. Like that's the model. But at the end of the day, like you really have to prioritize self-care. And self-care, like I said, is different. Like for me, it might be jamming out to some music, lighting some candles, painting my nails, doing my makeup. But then it's also the hard work, right? Because caring for yourself can also be keeping up with your appointments, talking about your trauma, uh, trying to get through certain things so you can heal. Like 
that's all self-care and I think it's different for everyone but prioritizing it period it definitely definitely is a must I think that when you take care of yourself that you show up as a better person in life I know when I feel depleted I'm like bruh I need a mental health day like now like yesterday you know and I just feel like it causes me to not show up daily um when I don't take care of myself or when I'm not focusing on me or doing something nice for myself because you matter I matter we matter is so important to take care of yourself so the last thing I think that we should do is support our communities so I know for me it wasn't really important for me and back in the day to like support my community and do things you know to help people and find those opportunities but I think that imagine if all of us put in the work in our actual community to like maybe start a program or volunteer or you know do something like it definitely definitely will help so for me the last couple of days that I have left of this summer vacation y'all I want to research certain opportunities like when it comes down to um, just on a daily maybe it's volunteering at like a farm or something like around your your neighborhood or in your neighborhood like I wouldn't know unless I look you know after those opportunities so these are things that I think that we should definitely be thinking about as a community of black people people of color um i hope that you guys get my drip with this video definitely let me know down below if you resonate with anything in this video and i will talk to you soon bye y'all